this weekend here in Seattle. Get ready to rock. Black and Loud Fest is a celebration of black-fronted bands, and everyone is invited to enjoy the fun at the Crocodile this weekend. Steve is on the plaza with co-founder Cameron Levide jones of King Youngblood. Steve, this sounds like a lot of fun. It really does, and I do want to note, this will be our first performance ever on Arc Seattle in nearly 10 months on the air, so we're really excited about that. We'll have that in a second. Nice to have you both with us today. Thank you. This is really exciting. Cameron, I want to start with you. Just talk about how this got started. Yeah, well, Black and Loud Fest was born out of a need to highlight and celebrate black artists, especially in the Pacific Northwest. There aren't a lot of people that look like me making this kind of music, getting the support that they really need to thrive. So we put together Black and Loud Fest to make sure that we're able to give other black fronted bands their flowers and showcase to the Pacific Northwest that not only are we here, but you're invited to come celebrate those artists with us. What's it kind of been like to see this on, on like a national level and maybe take it to some other cities across the country from, from place to place sort of sharing that same message? Yeah, it's been huge. You know, I think that when you're experiencing your career as a black artist, a lot of us have very similar experiences when it comes to navigating those different kind of challenges. And um, we always stand to gain to learn something from how other cities and other communities are doing things. And every time that we get a chance to bring Black and Loud across state lines, we not only get a chance to learn more ourselves, but share a little bit more of that ethos with them too. Everybody wins. What's the feedback been like? It's been huge. Good. You know, for, yeah. for, for us, especially this is our third year over at the Crocodile, September 14th. Um, and uh, it's been one of those things that has really showcased us how important this is. We've been very lucky to be able to be recognized for our authenticity, for putting our purpose first, and to be able to put that on for the city and our community, it means the world. So tell us about some of what people can expect if they go and, and some of the performers that will be uh, on stage. Absolutely. Well, we've got local legend Aaron Jones uh, coming in, closing out the main stage. You've got King Youngblood, us, obviously. Yeah. Down north, our other co-founding band, Nikki D and the Sisters of Thunder, uh, flying in from Ohio. Uh, Antoine Tyler, massive country music star from Everett, uh, as well as local favorites like Beverly Crusher, um, Sus, and um, uh, Breaks and Swells. There's a little something for everybody at Black and Loud Fest, and that's what it's all about. I love that. Tell us a little bit about this ticket scholarship program that's available. What is that, and, and what does it do? Absolutely. So Black and Loud works with the Allied Arts Foundation. It's a 501c3. Um, and essentially, our ticket scholarship program allows us to touch base with folks that aren't able to afford a ticket but still want to be, you know, a part of the festival and attend. Um, we really want to make sure that finances are not an obstacle for people be belonging and being a part of this community that they want to be a part of. Uh, and so through the Allied Arts Foundation, we're able to take donations uh, and through those donations be able to buy tickets for people so they can awesome. come join us at the festival. Awesome. You've obviously seen this grow over the past couple of years. Where, do you, where would you like to see things like five years from now? Oh, man. Five years from now, <laughs> I'm hoping we hit Dallas, Houston, Atlanta, Brooklyn, come back to Portland. Portland's the only other state that we've had a chance to cross states' lines to. Yeah. Um, but all of these different places, not just where there are very prominent black music communities, but especially the places that aren't. Um, I think far too often black folks don't get their flowers by the time that they've really excelled in their careers. And that can also happen in places where people don't think that there's a large community for that. We want to make sure that we're destroying those misconceptions <laughs> and uh, letting people know that they are always welcome at Black and Loud Fest. As we mentioned just a moment ago, you guys are going to be the first to ever perform on our show. Tell us a little about, about the song that we're going to hear in just Absolutely. a second. Absolutely. So the song we're going to perform for you today is called Best We Can. Okay. Um, it's actually unreleased, so we're giving you, oh not, we're giving you a nice exclusive, exclusive. I love um, that. for our King Youngblood's upcoming album dropping in February 2025. Uh, but this song is called Best We Can. Awesome. Congratulations and take it away. You got it. Tried my best to warn you, get me off this road, or we're gonna die. Impatience birds reaction. If you don't pump the brakes, then this is goodbye. Dead men close their eyes, the knack blind. Still, I try 
We do the best that we can. It's not hard to believe in the evidence. We do the best that we can. But it's hard to change the minds of dead men. Fantastic. Exclusive so new look from the upcoming album from King Young Blood. What a treat to have you guys out here today. It's an honor to be here, man. Thank you for having loved us. Loved it. Absolutely loved it. And the album is coming out again? February 2025. February 2025. Look for it. What awesome performance. Steve, that was great. I was dancing here in the studio. I know. That was incredible. I know. And I, what I love, too, is is one of our security guys was walking out while they were performing, and he was just kind of like going like this, <laughs> like he was strumming a guitar. So that was awesome. Rock it was star. great. And love the eye contact with the with the cameras. I mean, hey, they've got they've got yes. it. Star power. Thank you so much. Absolutely.